Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to OMSI 2, Bus Company Simulator. We are still in Lemental. We are still using the 0530 from the previous episode with the McDonald's skin. And actually, I did order a McDonald's the last time I recorded. So hopefully it doesn't repeat itself because it's not too healthy, right? <laughs> anyway, we are in a different route though in the Lemental map. And I've never actually driven here. So we might encounter a few uh, mishaps. Hopefully not. It is circulation 13292. Now the one there is Monday to Friday. The three is something like a special trip. Because zero is like uh, the, in the the trip is spanning the entire day. Three I forgot but it's apparently, I think it's a special trip. Uh, it's line 32. It's going from Ebensberg where, ch where, where we are. Getting to Frankenberg Gartnerei. Gartnerei? I don't know. But it takes around 40 minutes all in all the entire trip so it's gonna be uh, a lengthier one than usual so let's take that the place bus number 312 okay that's fine start time is 9 20 now i think i did set up the ibis already um let's close that i did say 9 20 right where's my timetable 9 20 ebensburg yep that's right also thank you for the, all the feedback and uh all the nice comments that you've given in the past few episodes, guys. I am back from my trip from Manila. So this is more or less live. Maybe a day or two in advance. That, that uh, yeah, it's not as advanced as before. Now, some of you commented that you wanted uh, less clutter on the screen. So that's why I removed the chat over here. And uh, I need your inputs on this one. What do you prefer? Because I, I know some people prefer to have all the information here. But uh, in the same way, some people don't like it because they say most of these, actually almost all of these, you can find in the actual bus. And if you like immersion, it makes sense to not have them over here so you can look better in the bus. Personally, I also like that. Like the speed, I don't like there. The time, I don't like there because I have the time here anyway. But yeah, you guys let me know what you want here. If are you are okay with all of these information listed here or you want to remove some of them, alright? So just hit me up hit me up in the comment section. Till then, I'll keep them on. Love that sound. Turn on the electrics and turn on the engine. There we go. Perfect. Nine minutes early. Let's go and heat up the cabin. Max it up. I'm not really sure if that's how you should do it, but we need to really make it faster. Okay. What is that? I think we have the bus stop break, the request for uh, uh, the the trolley, and uh, not trolley. What? Opening the the one at the back. I think someone pressed the button or something. And these people are waiting to get inside. We are line 32. Mmm, not quite ready to open it yet though, because if you enter right now, you'll just complain. So I'm not sure why that's opening up. I'll have to open up the doors there. Like the bus stop brake, someone has pressed it. Wasn't me. Is there someone inside? Oh, I hope not. That would be pretty freaky, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's close this. Okay. I did set up the IBIS already a while ago, but let's double check. This is line uh, 032. 03200 and if we look at the IBIS codes over here line 32 going from Ebensburg to Frankenberg is uh, wait a minute why is that 12? what I entered was 4 those are those are the same okay I'm not sure now which one's the right one because those are exactly the same things. Um, wait a minute. Okay, now I'm I'm a bit nervous. Uh, let's see. Frankenberg Gartner. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Thirty-two. Route four, Ebensburg, Lilliengrun, Frankenberg Gartner. That one. And uh, thirty-two. Route twelve is exactly the same thing but since this is a special trip and all i'm assuming it's gonna be something like that wait a minute all right so this is route four currently if we try and look for the 
Uh, can I? Krish. Ebensberg Kirche. Kirche? Oh, it's pronounced at Kirche, huh? Nächste Interesting. Ebensberg Kirche. Okay, that's right. Osinkofen, Gravenberg, Obersburgen. Let's uh, fast forward here. I'm just stepping on the clutch non-stop. Hauptbahnhof, Leib Leibnizplatz, Hohenmark. Georg's Gasse, uh, Walken, Walkenfelder, Walkenfelder Ring, Krakenhaus, Siedlung, Alten Wohnheim, Le Mungerstal, okay, Schwaten, Zinkassel, Stratstrand, <laughs> Westerbrook, Hufe, Frankenberg, Kreuzung, Gartnerei. Yeah, this is, this is right. Alright, so let's go back. Okay. Wow. That's a pretty long announcement, but we're good now. Alright, so I'll keep it at Route 4 because that seems to be the right stops. Um, I don't know what Route 12 is, but we'll keep it that way for now. Right? Good, good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it seems correct because they're lining up. Frankenberg Gartnerei. Gartnerei or Gartnerei? I should have listened to that guy when he was announcing it. Anyway, let, let, we'll hear that. Um, in a minute, anyway. Right, so let's uh, let them in, I guess. No, no, no. Let's turn on the... Actually, this is my question. Do we need lights? I don't think we need it because it's 9 a.m. It looks pretty sunny outside. So I'll take a risk and I'll not put on the lights. I guess that makes sense. In real life, the buses in our area, we don't have lights on when it's the morning. <laughs> I guess that just, uh, that's just fine. So I'll keep it off. Yeah, I'll keep them off. And let's open the doors. Open both doors. Hello. Hello. Good. Good. Okay. Close the doors. It's getting cold. That's interesting. Someone is pressing the bus stop brake again. That is pretty interesting. So let if I open that one. Alright. And if I close it now. And it's open again. What the heck? Is there a bug or something? Um I know there's like a reset button for some of the, the, the buses where you can actually reset the the bus stop. Maybe that one. Okay, close you. Still on. What the heck? Did I do something here? I doubt it. Hmm hmm hmm. It's gonna be pretty irritating. That's gonna be pretty irritating indeed. Uh, okay. System info. Nah. Everything okay? Yeah, it looks like. But yeah, that that H there, that's really, really ticks me off. That is for the doors. You can see that there's an X there. So that won't open, that won't open, and both will open. Um, okay, let's take a look at the passenger side. Right? If I take that one. Close the doors. And it's on again. Maybe something here. Someone's pressing here. It's that one, I think, right? The request. The the buggy request, or however you call it. So if I look here, yes, yeah, so that, li that lights up, but that's from outside. So if I open it, that goes away. Someone can get in from there, and that actually is flippable. Can you flip it? Oh, that's super nice. That's Yeah, that, that is how it is in real life as well. In Singapore, this is how it is when people have wheelchairs and they need to go in. You open that, and the the bus captain actually assists them as well. Right. So if we close the door now, the bus stop brake still hmm, marks itself up. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, it didn't destroy the bus. <laughs> All right. 
I was hoping to uh, leave a little bit early. And what's the difference of that one with this one? Hmm, strange. Both of them seem to be like the hazard lights. Yeah, I, I was hoping to advance time, but it doesn't seem like I'll need it because I spent a lot of time just fumbling around with this one. So I think we can make it a bit colder now. Yeah, just... And later on, I'll turn on the air conditioning or whatever and turn off the heating there just to balance this out. Okay, looks good. Except for that bus stop break that I am going to be pretty OCD about. If you guys know how to turn that off, let me know, okay? Because I know in some buses, you can actually turn that off, reset that. But it doesn't seem like the case here. Anyway, alright. That means we'll have to stop at each bus stop. Crap. Alright, are we leaving? I guess we're leaving. No one's arriving. No one's running. We're uh, one minute late. Uh, we're one minute in advance, but I think we'll need all the allowance you can get since this is a new route. I've never driven it before. Let's get going. And yeah, it's been a while since I drove, so hopefully no mishaps, but um, no crashes, so at least there is that. But there are still crashes with the they call this the curbs in all the environment uh, areas. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go through the curb. Almost hit it that time. Okay, everybody's waiting here. That's fine. And I like to turn on the direct retarder so that um, it helps me brake without actually stepping on the pedal brakes. It's a very helpful feature. Okay. I'll have to open that every single Hello. time, huh? Good morning. I know time is covered today. Alright. Day ticket. Sure thing. That is... Uh, you, 10. Wow, lots of coins. Normally I would like that, but... Alright. Close it up. And it goes on again. Maybe there's a uh, problem with the bus. Maybe I have to uh, uh, fix it or something. Oh, can I fix it here? Let me see. Fix. No? That would be too easy, would it? wouldn't it? Yeah, that doesn't work anymore, that fix button there. So, okay, so what's the speed limit here? On Osin, Osin Coffin. Yep, that's the one. Okay, let's pick up this lady. Sorry, and a bit over. Of course, someone's going off. That's fine. Let's just appreciate. Oh, is it 60 or 50? Okay, it's 50. 50 and turning right. Right, so we'll have to be a bit. Uh, give it a bit of a leeway. Oh, textureless bus coming in, coming through. <laughs> yeah, until now, I'm not able to find which skin that is exactly. It's like a Deutsche Bahn skin, I think. But only for a specific model. Because I do have Deutsche Bahn skin for other buses, but not for that specific one. I just, I'm half tempted to just remove it from the AI list so it doesn't really, uh, doesn't cause any trouble. Oh, see, this one, I can actually skip it normally. But because I always have the bus stop brake on, the bus stop signal I always have to stop there I hate it anyway do let me know which one how to fix that guys alright if you were familiar with it if that's something you have to fix in the bus company simulator in the depot or if that's something uh, there is a button which I can flick okay let's slow down there, okay. so I'll have to turn here and I am using my mirrors non-stop that's really just the way to go until you get used to it until you probably been driving for a few years or so in real life you probably have to look at your mirrors a lot and then if you constantly change buses then for sure you'll have to get used to it every single time okay next stop here looking at the mirrors non-stop okay okay not too much not too much. 
There we go. Hello. Hello. Guten Tag. And yeah, guys, um, I think I'm finally, crossing my fingers, I'm finally going to Germany in real life. So if you remember a few months back, I, ha I was planning to go to Frankfurt, but it, it didn't push through because it was a business thing. It had something to do with, I think I left early there. Crap, I didn't see the time. We'll see later on. Um, it depends on your... Uh, so I had a trip to Frankfurt, but it got cancelled last minute. It was supposed to had to do something with work, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I, there were some complications on the, the the process and everything, and it didn't push through. Now though, it it is pushing through. So middle of August, mid to end of August, I'll be in Frankfurt. So I'll be out. So I'll, I'll need to record some videos in advance again. Sorry about that, but yeah. I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll tell you a lot of stories when we when I get back. And I'll tell you if the roads really look like this. Good. Alright, good. I think we're entering the Autobahn. Yeah, it looks like Autobahn 34. Okay. Why does it seem like I'm uh, zoomed in? Let me reset the view, huh? Okay, that looks better. Good thing this uh, this 0530 is more than capable of. Look how uphill that is. Look how steep that is, and it's able to manage just fine. Accelerates no problem at all. And they're complaining. The insanity. <laughs> Although even though they complain, most of the time, if you, even if you hear them complain like that, but you know that you didn't do anything wrong, the passenger satisfaction in the, the score at the end of the trip, it still is 100% sometimes. So it's not really equivalent that when you hit, when they speak up like that, when they complain that uh, you did something wrong, it's just maybe sometimes it's buggy. And yeah, I'm max speed here. This is the maximum I could go, 85 kilometers per hour. I'm assuming it has something to do with uh, buses locked with the speed to have something like this, probably. And yeah, good thing we don't have collisions on because uh, look at this insanity right here. Yeah, these AI vehicles are just swerving left and right without looking at anything, and then they're swerving so drastically. You saw that probably in the previous episode, right? Yeah, th that's how they swerve. It's insanity. And that's why the best solution, in case, because they can't really solve and fix the AI, is just to completely remove the... completely remove the collisions, which is what I've done. And uh, something has lit up in my dashboard. It seems like the oil Hopefully, that's not going to be a real problem. Okay, it's gone. Alright, see? How they suddenly just break like that? Why would you break in an autobahn like this? Yeah? With nothing in front. No collisions, no, no obstructions, no nothing. Just stopping like that. It's asking for trouble. Right? This is where we're going, it seems like. I'll swerve here and let the retarder do its work. I'll smart. <laughs> I remember one thing that uh, Sheng mentioned. He's a regular viewer here in the, in the channel, especially for trucking vids. All roads lead to Auswart. Because <laughs> I swear, I, I remember that one when I started first playing ATS2. And I didn't know anything about European and German roads in particular. I kept seeing that Auswart... Uh, Auswart um, exit and i was thinking wow so okay so, so this one is going to Auswart, and then the next exit going to Auswart again that place must be really humongous huh and then and later on <laughs> later on I, I discovered that that's like the the german word for exit Auswart, Au, auswart is it like with a v ausgang and auswart i think right ausgang is the entrance auswart or is that like that both exits I forget. It's been a while since I've been in Germany. 
Oh, this looks like a pretty nice town. Slopey and all, but it seems like it's pretty well made. I like it. Okay, and it looks like we're still early. That's nice. Alright. Good. Check, no bicycles. Although, even though uh, there are really no bicycles in this game, but yeah, we roleplay a bit, right? Opening the back just because. Uh, Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Just because we can. Wait a minute. I think someone really is going off. Let me open Shoot. it again. I think at that time, someone was really going off. It's good. Okay. So it was worth it. Okay, that guy stopped for us. Thank you. And if you look at the map, it seems like we're going to be passing through a body of water. I'm not sure if that's a lake or anything. But it does look cool. It does look like a pretty scenic spot. Oh, sorry. Bus problems. Seilblick. Seilblick, huh? Interesting. Okay, we're not crossing the railroad. We are turning left here instead. So we'll be going in parallel with the road, the railroad, rail tracks, which is always a pretty cool thing driving alongside a train. Anyone riding with us? Yep, one of them. And I'll open the back to remove that bus stop in the hopes that sometime Hello. soon that's gonna come off. No, it's a then it immediately goes on again. Hate it. Is there like no like reset in here? Oh I think it must be a bug. And it's strange because I just entered the game, so it's not something that was caused by my previous trip. Unless it's a real damage. What sign is that? It's like a dead end. <laughs> Did you guys see that sign? You can rewind the video. It's a pretty interesting and very descriptive, very understandable sign. It's like a dead end. And uh, the next uh, stop is like a water, body of water. So like if you go straight here, you'll end up with the fishes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you'll be sleeping with the fishes. What does that mean? Ooh. Turning left. Is that like train? Probably the train station, Ubanhof. 3.8 meters. Also recently I've been very uh, sensitive, very uh, wary of the signs, of the road signs, especially that height thing, that vertical limit sign, because I've been watching a lot of driving bro videos. I'm not sure if you guys watch him. If you're uh, a fan of the trucking um, industry, or trucking truck simulator you probably watched one of his videos because he's a real life truck driver and he drives a lot of the trucks that we love to drive Morgen. if you're uh, into ja. truck sim Einmal Schüler, bitte. sure thing 150 for you kiddo and that's two four six eight fifty gotcha good Ooh, where's it was like it. Like that skin. Pretty classy. Don't even think about it, mister. There was a car behind us. Good. Moving forward. But yeah, so driving bro. I've been watching a lot of his videos. While I was in Manila, I didn't have access to my PC. I didn't have access to any games I couldn't play. But I did have some downtime. So with the downtime, I kept watching his videos. I started from the very bottom, like his first ever video in the in the Driving Bro channel, and then worked my way up. I'm almost I'm almost at the most recent one now. That's how many videos I've watched <laughs> since I'm in, in Manila. So I, and I've learned a lot of things about trucks and about the roads and the signages in general. Why is this guy stopping? It's a problem. Nothing. He just wanted to take a break in the middle of the road. Why not? There we go. Next stop. There. Two minutes early. We'll have to uh, probably wait a little. Yeah. Actually, no. It's just the right timing. We're two minutes early, which is the acceptable margin. 
in the game. Okay, tag. I, I understood that one bit, at least. Which is uh, for. Uh, means a day, right? It's a day ticket. <clears throat> Close the door behind us. Signal left and merge. Beautiful. I think the stop is wrong though. Okay, it's it's one station wrong. Bigger for Kute. It should change. I'll give it a chance to change. Because right now the stop is at Mitte. It should be at Grute. Grut Grutzoe or something. I don't think it will change. See? The exaggeration of these people. Wow. Like um you're in the road. <laughs> you're not like floating in air. There is bound to be some air, some land re road resistance. Okay. There. Grutzoe. Good sir. Yeah. <clears throat> My pronunciation wasn't uh, that off. It wasn't spot on, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like completely the opposite pronunciation, at least. But I really like Lemental Roads. It's very relaxing. It's very. If you remove the the AI aspect, the AI derpiness, it's a very relaxing map, and I love it. It's very varied. So many different lines. So many different landscapes. You go through autobahns, you go through highways, see? Look at that, case in point. I'm not even going to stop for that guy because I'll just be losing points. And I'll be hitting in him anyway. Yeah, just insane. But yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the direction is for this game, but it seems like... Uh, yeah, it's pretty much full of add-ons. So people are still... Uh, um, doing mods more or less and uh, releasing DLCs but the base game itself I'm not expecting any updates anymore yeah so I guess it's slowly going slowing down the, the after so many years the progress really is has stopped for the base game but the good news is that I guess I think a new game on the horizon which is pr developed by TML, the same guys behind Fernbus. And it's going to be a city bus driving simulator in Berlin, I believe. If not Berlin, and for sure somewhere in Germany. I've uh, seen some screenshots. It looks really good. Unreal Engine and that, all that stuff. It is from TML. And uh, I think they've learned a lot from their Fernbus, uh, Fernbus uh, game. So it might be a very promising game, all in all. I think I have to st stick to the left, to the right here. Why did I, why did I say Lemental Wildsfuss. No clue how that happened. Oh yeah, because that, that, that R-type thing, that last character, which looks like an R and a B, it's actually pronounced as a double S. So it's Wildsfuss. Okay, we are not blocking the road. That's good. Okay, is no one riding with us? I don't think so. Okay, fine with that. And off we go. Are we going to uh, an autobahn again? By the way, I was actually contemplating of. Uh, Renting my own car when I'm in Frankfurt, but I kind of hold, held off on it. Lesnar Platz, yeah, 60. Uh, do we stop here? Not really, huh? But there is a bus line. So I, I guess I'll take that. But we're not supposed to stop here. So I'll just push through and stop in the next one instead. But at least I'll take the, the bus lane. Yeah, Western Platz. Not sure if that's that was the right thing to do, but I think it was. Yeah, look at this, it's closed. But for buses, it's open. Yemen. Yeah, Caution. Pedestrians crossing. Sure. 
we have enough space on the right that's good so yeah i was actually contemplating on renting my own car so i i can go around when i'm in germany but and i discovered that my license is actually valid for a few Hello. days at least so i think it's possible but um, i do have a colleague from italy coming with me and he'll be renting a car already so i, I don't think it's practical did someone just press the the buggy it seemed like it is there a problem with the maintenance of this bus it seems like it's flipping out like the electrics maybe i have to have that diagnosed okay next up i think we're going to be stopping at the hautbahnhof Hauptbahnhof. Alright, so you pronounce both P and T, it seems like, based on how he pronounced that. Alright, so in this roundabout, we're going to be turning left and then going around all the way. Look at that mini map on the lower left. It looks absolutely confusing, but I think I have an idea how he wants me to go. Okay, are you going in or not? I don't care. <laughs> Imagine if a real car just, just does that. He steps into the roundabout, so to speak, and then stops in the middle. And then it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> you're blocking the way, but you're not moving. Okay, good. Now, I think what we're doing here is we are... Hmm, okay, we'll be going through another roundabout, seems like. Uh, do we go there? Or do we go through here? I think we go through here. That seems to be a closed door. Closed road. Okay. There we go. And we go through this roundabout. Seems like there is a bit of trouble with the traffic though. And I'm not sure if it's uh, going to get fixed. So we might have to do some uh, evasive maneuvers in here. We'll wait a few seconds if it fixes itself. In the meantime, let's uh, raise up the the vents up top. So you can see that one raised up, just so it get gets a bit colder. And probably do we close that? No. Let's close the heating. Okay, they're they're moving. That's good. That's good. So it, they they're at least fixing themselves, and I don't have to. What happened to that bus? Did I just get? into him oh man this is this is gonna take forever nah i'll not be waiting like this okay okay it seems like they're moving it seems like they're moving that's good that's good that's good all right so we go around the, all the way here and then we get into the hauptbahnhof the terminal from this side i'll show you what i mean okay a little lag that's fine can i squeeze in through that can you stop thank you now the question is where do we stop what bus number are we bus number 32 right okay so i'll have to turn on my floating indicators look for 32 it's that one it's that one with these guys right the one with the blue guy standing hopefully this it doesn't move there we go so it's a nice indicator they're actually walking so those people the 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 most people who walk in that area that's where you should be going trust the people they know what they're doing that was a bit close good right all aboard Hello. We're a bit late now. That Hello. little bit of traffic cost us some time. Eat up all our allowance. Okay. Okay. People are still coming in. Anyone? Nope. We're good. Good. Alright. Cool. So now... We go through the same roundabout we came in, but we go the opposite way. Right here. Yeah? That's how it is. 
Leibnizplatz, okay, gotcha. Take a look at my mirror. Oh, See, they're complaining. They're not. I'm not hitting anything. I think it even has to do something with the the way you step on the gas, the way you step on the accelerator. Sometimes they get a bit too finicky, which is very very weird. Right, this time we go around this place, and we exit at the next one. Okay. Feel free to stop in the middle of the roundabout. <laughs> Insane. These guys. So yeah, I was thinking of uh, actually renting my own car. So I could feel, I could get a feel of how to drive in actual, in actual autobans, you know. That would have been nice. But maybe I first time, I, uh, I, I've been in Germany before, but I've never really... Uh, ridden in a car because we I spent just two days there I think and um, okay stop here spent just two days there and I and um, didn't really ride the car because I instead ride the rode the train and then we were on our way to other countries in Europe but yeah, this will be the first time I'll be riding a car and going through the Autobahn in Germany. And I figured maybe it makes sense if uh, I go through... Let's go through the bus lane. I think it makes sense. Um, maybe it makes sense if I let someone else drive first. And the next time if I go back, that's when I'll drive my own. I guess that will be a lot safer. Right. That triangle icons, I think, seems... I think that means all go. Everyone go. I think. Uh, if I read that correctly in the manual. Okay. How are we doing? Time. Uh, we're doing good with time. Just exactly in there. Next stop is uh, Gariker something. The guy isn't announcing it though, so I'll have to do it manually. There we go. Okay, that doesn't seem like the right one. That doesn't seem like the right one at all. Do I really have to go here? That feels really wrong. And I'll have to go through these guys. Otherwise I won't fit in. Okay. Yeah, this seems wrong. This map, I think the, the stops are right. But the, the map, the mini-map is wrong. I don't think we should be going through here. Man. Might be a detour or something. Anyway, let's just follow it. Maybe I should have consulted my root helpers. The floating root helper icons. Sagergasse. That's the one. Not the next stop, but the one after that. Hmm. Not really sure if I'm going the right way. But maybe just a wrong, a wrong detour somewhere. That might cost us a few points if we missed a few bus stops. And uh, if we missed a few passengers. So I think that gets included in the, the score. Okay, let's see. Are you guys gonna be riding with us? Nope. Not at all. But let's see if someone's going down. No one as well, right? Okay, it's fine. We'll have to turn back the stop uh, manually, I think. Because it will be moving forward in a bit. Yeah, like that. No, 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 no. Okay, this Zakergas is the right one. What I'm uh, wondering about now, though, is if you look at the spelling of this one, Zakergas, it has a double S, <clears throat> and I would have expected instead of that double S, it would have used that like B and R thing, the one I, I was talking about earlier. So I'm not sure if in German language you have instances where you use double S and the instances where you use double that uh, BR thing. Okay, 
to stop here. Phew. This is a bit of a detour, huh? Elemental. Stad. Stad tile brush. <laughs> Completely murdering the pronunciation here. Oh crap, we're one minute late. Man. Alright, but I'll, I'll try to stick to driving responsibly. Is this guy coming, gonna come with us? Yes, yes. Yeah, so what I learned of for, with driving bro as well, even though he, he drives trucks and not buses. And it's actually common sense. It doesn't matter what your timetable is, if you're late or not. It matters, but it doesn't matter as much as safety does. Yeah, so safety first, safety first. I think we go through the left one here, basing on the minimap, and then we go through this tunnel, I think. This tunnel I've gone through a bit already in my previous trip. Even though I went through a different line, I think it went through the same road. Oh, I wonder what the speed limit here is. I'm assuming 50. Yeah, I think so. There it is. It says uh, 50, okay. So maybe it was 60 a while ago. Yeah, so oh, what Driving Bro said? Doesn't matter what your timetable is, more or less. Safety first. If you're going to be rushing things just to make it in time, you'll, you'll be uh, more at risk with accidents and uh, you'll end up in a worse place overall. So just, yeah, you can hurry it up a bit, I guess. But don't do it at the risk of losing your safety precautions yeah Hohenmark Rathaus perfect that's the one hurry guys because it's green I don't want to miss it we're a bit late so still want to make that good people are going off actually nice that was worth it Hurry, hurry, hurry. Meet the red light. Yeah, that was yellow. Means go faster, right? Right? Good. Good to go. Georgsgasse. Georgsgasse. Yep. Right one. Doing pretty okay. And I, I like how the roads are wide when they're, when they're needed be wide like it's, they don't feel cramped at all and that's what i like about this map it's very relaxing but at the same time it has its uh, challenges so it's not super easy you still have to maneuver through the different winds and different intersections yeah so you'll have to you'll still be challenged but you won't be feeling cramped all the way and i love that it's a go and lanes are merging so yeah, I've, I've learned to uh Keep a closer eye on the the road and the signs in particular, because those tell you everything. If a map is made well, close to realistic, uh, reali close to realism, you should be seeing a lot of signs, and all of those signs should represent something that is going to be pretty useful in traversing a very uh, Hello. challenging Hello. road like lanes merging things like that if you take the time to really keep your eyes open and plan ahead you should be able to avoid any disasters like any unnecessary headaches like if you saw that sign then you know that something's coming up and you can prepare um, ahead of time eh? like swerve to the left or or uh, make sure that you keep your foot on the brake, things like that. Railroad crossing until now, I'm not really sure what to do here. I don't see a stop sign, so I'll just slow down. I think in Poland you have to stop and uh, keep your hazards on, look left and right, things like that. But I don't think that's the same case for us. Oh, yeah. A very bumpy rail tracks. Oh, thank you. 
Okay, fine. Thankfully, I was going to say thankfully they didn't complain, but they did. And where the heck is the stop? I think it's in the left side, yeah? Because it says bus. I'll be risking it there. Yeah, it looks like it's right. Oh, curb ahead. The, these mirrors are super useful. We don't know what to do without them. Someone riding with us? I don't think so. Oh yes, someone is. This guy. Good morning, good sir. Someone dropping off? Yes, someone did. Guten tag. Sorry, I'm a bit dizzy. And sorry about that buzzing noise that you're hearing. That is someone. I don't know what they're doing. Blowing the leaves or something outside. Perfect timing, right? But I'll just keep you guys occupied with my voice so you don't hear that. Ugly background noise anymore. Is this the right way? That felt so awkward, that road. <laughs> that sudden turning right and cutting off. That felt so weird. Okay. Yeah, made it. Nice. Fucking fell that ring. Good. Uh, we actually skipped that one. Or just went through that one. So it's Kraken House already. Kraken House. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Bit of loading happening. You guys okay? Yep. Good to go. Stop. Look. Listen. Good. Hello. Hello. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. Right. Good. I was actually tempted to uh, buy a head mount as well because I got so inspired with driving bros videos. Like I, I have a GoPro, a Go GoPro Hero 3 Black. I think it's a very old GoPro, but still a GoPro, right? And I can buy a head mount. Okay, go ahead. Take your time. Anjäger Frey. What does that mean? Does it mean we're not allowed here? I don't know. So this is the way I'm assuming. But I don't know how this works. Kultgen Siedlung. Side long. Yeah, I was thinking of buying a head mount, but I don't really know where to use it, you know. <laughs> it will only be useful when I'm driving. Maybe when I drive in Germany or in the US, I can do that, but I might get... I, I don't know, it might be illegal to do that in those countries, so I'll have to research it first. Maybe I can do like a vlog, a driving vlog thing. but. It's probably going to be very uh, dangerous because it's my first time driving there and uh, I don't want the additional distraction of having to talk and having to have a head mount on my head. Yeah, so maybe maybe when I get used to it. But it would have been a very nice uh, concept if I only if only I was uh, familiar with it. I like this place. I like the, the brick action going. Or is it cobblestone? Whatever type of ground that is. And the buildings on the side. Pretty nice. Kulken something something. Yep, this is the one. Good. I'm going off. Yep. Pretty good. Let's get going. Right. Ooh. Pedestrians crossing. Or at least, I don't know what that means, like a walkway for pedestrians. Children crossing. Maybe there's a school nearby? No clue. Uh, maybe go a bit closer first so I can see something. There we go. Okay, okay let's go straight. Neuwerk. Neu. It's interesting how they read that, right? How Germans read it. The N-E-U. Because, uh, what was it? I think it was a, an, uh, it's a famous chocolate, Neu, Neu House or something. 
We always pronounce it new house because it's N E U, like new. But apparently, you pronounce it as Noi. We only discovered when we were speaking with our German colleague, and he was, uh, we were telling him about it, and he was like subtly correcting us the pronunciation. I guess German is a pretty nice language to learn, huh? It would definitely be a plus when it okay. comes to simulators because it seems like a lot of Germans are into simulators. I would take a wild guess and say that Germans are the most active when it comes to playing simulators. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it seems does seem like it, right? Oh, that's a very long, very long word. Uh, that is, uh, is it right? Yeah, it, it does seem right. Okay, good. Good, good. And crap, how did we become two and a half minutes late? What the heck? Right, we'll have to hurry it up then. Hurry it up a little. As much as safety would allow, that is. And turn left uh, there. No train? Lots of rail tracks in here. Pretty nice. Pretty scenic Bauhaus. Ooh, ooh. I've seen those in Truxim as well. Very famous brand, huh? German brand, I think, yeah. But also has international, uh, international reach, at least in Europe. Good. Let's hurry up. have to check this out what's wrong with this bus maybe some maintenance work would help a lot with it Mungurasal zinc gas okay that looks the right, like the right one oi what what oi oi yourself <laughs> okay is anyone going down I'm not really sure but We'll try it anyway. Nope. Crap. Waste of time. That's what a broken bus stop signal does to you. Let's check it out after this trip. Let's go in, in the depot and... Uh, although I don't really know how to uh, detect that. I don't have the skill for it yet. But maybe I'll, I'll see if I can do it. Maybe there is. Uh, I have enough money. Then again, I might. I might just save that up for ranking up. Okay. Hello, good sir. I think you are planning to go aboard. Yeah, someone went off. Morgan. Morgan. Morgan is morning, right? Because tag is day. So Guten Morgen is good morning. Guten Tag is good day. Maybe. Nächste Haltestelle. Lemental Industriegebiet Müllerstal Stadtrat. Also, it would be interesting to know if there are any German friends around who are watching this video. If you are German, or if you know German, do give me a comment, like just say hi or something, or in German, say something like that, just so I know, right? It would be very nice to know that, because I'm, I don't think we have a lot of German viewers, because first and foremost, I'm speaking English, and I'm sure there are a lot of OMSI videos that are in German, so they would be more, uh, um, they would like that more, compared with uh, having to hear someone speak English with an accent. Crap, three minutes late. I hate it. This bus stop thing is uh, really starting to get on my nerve. Okay, let's try to speed up 60 here. Maybe we can still catch up. Westerbrook. That's the wrong one. It should be Hufe. Let me swerve to the left here because it seems like we are turning left. And uh, of course, stoplight. Yeah, 
take your time, relax, relax. Don't mind the time. Just safety first. Safety first. And then later on, you get screwed over by the score. Oh, crap. Wrong one. Straight ahead is go. Left turn, not yet. That's fine. That's fine. Not a lot of people are buying tickets, by the way. In Lemental, I seem to notice that trend. They probably buy outside. I think in Germany, you can buy tickets outside. We were actually pretty surprised the first time we saw that you could buy tickets inside. It's a very interesting concept because in Singapore, you don't... Although, yeah, in Singapore, you can, but you don't get change and everything and anything. So it's not really ideal to buy your ticket. It's better to get a, uh, like a... One of those contactless cards thing. 3.5 seconds. Where did that come from? Good. Right. Sticker restaurant hype. <laughs> Frankenberg. Yeah, that's the one. Frankenberg Kreuzung. Good. It's this one already. Nice. And of course, I have to stop because of that. Darn, we'll stop. Oh, someone actually went down. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so good thing I did that. Even at the cost of being late. But that wasn't so bad. I mean, this is like the last stop already. So we were late, I don't know, three or four stops. Everything else should be on time, I think. So that allowance in the beginning, more than worth it. If we didn't get that allowance, we probably would be even more late now. Yeah. Aral. Aral in Filipino means to study. I, w I have no clue what that means in German, if that, if that has any um, straight meaning at all. Okay, it seems like we are dropping off people here. Probably turning left somewhere. Yeah, here. Huh. Doesn't seem like there was an entrance there though, so it was a bit shady. Yeah, it feels a bit uh, weird this stop. Yeah, all the bushes and everything. Seems like seems like it, no one's maintaining this. Okay, let's just do that then. Line it up, role play it a bit. Late is late. Might as well do it right. Good to go. Four stops, too late. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Get off, everyone. And thank you for riding the clumsy bus. Not so clumsy today, thankfully. But that darn bus stop break still there. Anyway, let me know what you think, how to fix that, okay? In the meantime, I terminate the tour and let's see what our score is. Bus stops. 20, 31. Wow, 27 on time. That's not bad. That is actually 87%. So a bit like how many? 40 points? No, no, no. 60 points deduction. 733. And uh, passenger comfort is pretty high. Although the driving is very low. That's interesting. I usually get 100% now or 90%. But since this is a new route, probably I missed a couple of uh, lines and everything. 92%, that's not bad. 2,000. And we got the money. Portion for the company, 802. That's 30%. And we got 1,5 profit. That's awesome. Perfect. Alright, so let's have a look. If we can fix anything in the bus maintenance or some stuff maybe you can find it out in this episode wow it's almost been an hour that went by so fast i was having so much fun hopefully you guys enjoyed that trip okay let's move let's see this one okay uh no not sell damage maintenance execute main inspection by third party thankfully i think renner is doing this uh, 100 kilometers Necessary until 475. Last oil change. I, I'm not sure what this means, but it seems like everything is still green. 
necessary until October 20. So I think the na next inspection is October 20. So we should be good there. But maybe there's a damage with the hmm, electronics. Oh, I, I do have a training for that. Yeah, I, I remember I did learn for it. Because there was a time I actually crashed the bus so hard, everything just went loco. No, but it's fixed though. There's no problem with it. Interesting, okay. Maybe it was just a bug. Hopefully next time it doesn't have that error. I'll check offline. I'll do a job with that bus because that's my favorite bus so far. 0530. The facelift with the the updated mirrors, manually fixed mirrors so that it updates and doesn't freeze all the time. So let's go and check our uh, stuff here. We don't have a lot of online players anymore, unfortunately, but uh, maybe I'll have to kick some people out. 303, wow. Five experience points, cool. Punctuality rating of 80%, I still haven't gotten that one. Crap, that's 33 EPs, look at that. All right, to get to rank six, I need, um, Two more EP. That's nice. Okay. And the money, actually, the money is not a problem. We have enough. So it's just two EP left. Okay, I can do that. Maybe by next episode, I'm already rank six. Right? So we can actually maybe do a bit of training here. Um, detect heater. Repair lights. Detect lights. Wipers. Not really. Doors, maybe. Or maintenance. Tire replacement. Oil change. Or V-belt change. How about engine? Hmm. Yeah, that might be useful. Huh. Repair engine. Wow, 570 minutes. Wow. Detect heater. What's important? A door and the heater is probably important. Okay, let's do that. Heater and door. Detect them first. Because once you detect them, worst case, you'll have to have a third party repair them. It will cost twice as much, but at least it won't be that much of a problem. Okay. Detect engine. All right. So we learn all the detection stuff at least. And then later on, the wipers we don't have. Uh, okay, fine. So we're, we're less. We can't actually rank up anymore. But I guess we need to do one job anyway. And by the next job, we should have enough money. Good. All right. Great. Um... So in terms of staff, this is how it looks currently. We are earning a lot. Thank you. By the way, let me th give a big thanks to Renner. He he held the fort while I was out, uh, handled the finances, the applications and everything. So thanks a lot, Renner. And thank you for earning a lot. If you look at the, the stats here, you have a couple of people who are not active. I'll have to remove some of them by the end of the week if they don't change. But look at this, Renner. 14,000 income. That's just insane. That is insane. Covered 971 kilometers. So thanks a lot. And he's ranked 9 already. Congrats, man. And thank you for all the help. Wow. Pico is also doing a lot of work. Cool. And me. Lots of clumsiness. But yeah, we have a couple of active people as well. That's good to hear. That's good to see. But yeah, I'll probably have to remove some to make space and uh, to to lower the rank because right now the rank is i believe it requires a rank four or has it changed rank three okay and i can't make it any lower if i remove some people some inactive people that should lower down that should make way for other more active people to come in anyway i i, that, I did that as a warning already anyway thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed that trip i sure did it was a long one more than an hour but I really enjoyed it. So looking forward to the next one. Thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. Looking forward to your comments. And please leave a like. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And subscribe for more updates if you haven't already. Anyway, thank you for watching. And have a nice day. Clumsy Bussing. Bye-bye.